Georgia. David, tell us about uh, the thing that you, you guys have been working on. All right. Together. Well, I wanted to start um, which was uh, an initial prototype. And what it does is it allows and you to what, capture. What do you call those, David? They're called a planoptic lens. It's a planoptic lens. And what it does is it allows you to capture multiple views of the scene. From, from a slightly, slightly different view. Right, and, and they angle. each get like a part of the subject. And uh -huh. then with software, you can put all those different parts together. In a sense, you're capturing a whole 4D light field. It's 4D, four dimensions, in a sense that you've got sort of two dimensions of the spatial uh, position of the light ray, and then you have also two dimensions of the orientation of the light ray. That's unbelievable. So, so uh, I, if I were to take one picture then of a planoptic lens with all those micro, micro lenses, mm -hmm. and I wanted to turn that that what we saw earlier, uh, maybe we could change now. Yeah, we could change to uh, to what Todor has on his workstation here. Right. So what you're seeing here is the image, the raw image that the sensor captured from a micro lens array that's mounted behind the main lens of the camera, and if. If Toter zooms out, why don't you zoom out actually? Well, all right, if you zoom out, you'll see that you can kind of make out actually what this is. It's a photograph of a girl taking a picture in front of some blue thing. It's hard to see exactly. If we zoom in, we'll see exactly what that raw data is. It's lots of tiny little pieces of image. And each one is from a slightly different vantage point. And together, they comprise the whole image from all those different directions. Now, suppose I want to see. And that's, David, that's magic. This is one of the most common like problems magic. that people have with photographs is they're unhappy with the focus. There's nothing they can do about it. So I could, I could literally refocus it on wherever I want to refocus it on. Well, I guess, you know, with some limits. So now you're focusing it on the, on the branches on the tree. That's right. And now he's going all the way toward the girl, and you can go all the way back again toward the, the those are beehives there. And put those in focus. That's you unbelievable. See all those different levels. Now, of course, this is just one demonstration of the capability of planoptic lens coupled with um, a massive amount of image processing that comes along with parallel right. computing. But there's all kinds of algorithms you guys could you guys could invent in the future that takes advantage of right. having captured the radiance of the exactly. entire scene. Yes. Right.